Time for your health news. The FDA and the CDC have approved the new COVID booster vaccine manufactured by Pfizer and Moderna, and the new vaccines are expected to be available in the next week or two. To help us understand the new ones, we are joined by our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott & White Health. Good to see you again this midday. Good to be with you, Kara. Well, Dr. Winter, how do these new vaccines differ from the previous ones we've heard about? Yeah, these are specifically designed for the new variants, the new mutations that came out this past year. And they say they're new and improved. In fact, with the previous vaccines, they said, we can't guarantee it won't prevent infection, but it'll prevent severe illness. With the new ones, they're saying it might even prevent infection totally, at least in the first two to three months. And they do last probably a year, at least if you're healthy. If you have some immunocompromised condition, you may need one in six months. That's still to be determined. And what is the infection rate like right now in North Texas? Yeah, there's still plenty of infection out there, Kara. A lot of folks have it. Most folks are staying home. Hospitalizations, though, they're still going up, but the curve is going down a little bit, so hopefully we're going to reach the peak and come back down. Cooler weather is coming, though. That tends to favor the vaccine, and who knows when the next variation, the next mutation is going to come out. So it's going to be around for a while. I'm pretty convinced about that. Now, when we talk about age groups who can get the new vaccine, um, is it approved for a particular age group or who is encouraged to get it? It's improved for almost everyone at six months of age and older. Little infants, no, but six months of age and older. Now, I found a study that was kind of interesting. They said that if you've had a vaccine before and you get the next vaccine, this new one, in the same arm, it works better. Now, this study shows a slight difference. So if you can't remember which arm you got in, don't worry about that. It'll still work. But if you can remember the same arm, that makes a better antibody buildup, they say. That's very interesting. Okay, so what is the argument for getting the new booster? Yeah, three reasons. Number one, it may prevent infection totally. It certainly will allow you not to have to be hospitalized or even to die. That's the big reason. Number two, you can't get it to spread to somebody else who may be more vulnerable than you. Number three, long COVID. You can't get long COVID if you don't get COVID in the first place. So three good reasons to get this new vaccine. Dr. Winter, good to see you. Thanks for your insight, and we appreciate it. Stay healthy. You, you bet. You too, Kara.